for the uh, upper uh, prediction, okay? And domestic forecast to the international uh, global forecast, right? Right? A good, very good. Good morning. Yeah, let's start the class. And this morning I will lecture uh, to you the, this chapter. Uh, this uh, international employee uh, performance management. Uh, in this uh, chapter, we will talk about these uh, three topic. The first is the concept of performance management. Yeah, what's the purpose? What's the purpose uh, for the uh, performance management? Yeah, why we want to conduct this uh, performance assessment? Yeah. And how should we uh, uh, conduct this uh, performance uh, assessment? Yeah. And with fact, with fact criteria, with fact criteria, should we use, right, uh, to uh, evaluate our employees' uh, performance? Uh, this uh, concept, different concept, right? Every organization have the different concept uh, regarding this uh, uh, performance uh, management. Okay, and then we will talk about how to conduct the performance uh, management. Uh, a cross border, right? So we, for ME, it should set up uh, this uh, performance management system uh, in a worldwide uh, operation, okay? So how to uh, uh, build a framework, a framework of the performance management, okay? And then I think uh, for you, everybody is a uh, very uh, important issue. If you are assigned to work abroad, how to perf how to evaluate your performance? Okay, so this uh, performance management or international dining uh, will be very important. So for an ME, if uh, this it want to be a high performance organization, you should care a great deal about the performance of their. Uh, employee indi individually, and also the team uh, project, because um, more and more uh, global team will be uh, formed uh, to uh, do business, and also the business unit. Okay. There are many business uh, in uh, uh, Montana company, so uh, every business has its different goal, right? Different goal, different strategy. So how to uh, evaluate uh, this uh, uh, business uh, unit, and last is uh, the overall organization. Yeah. No matter uh, how many business and how many uh, foreign subsidiary, yeah, for more company, you need to uh, design its uh, uh, performance management system and then uh, conduct this uh, performance management. To get the uh, to attain the overall uh, goal, right? Okay, so there are a number of reasons for complexity of an uh, organizational uh, an international PN system, right? Uh, some influencing factor. First, culture, culture. If we want to evaluate uh, the subsidiary in China. Yeah, and this U.S. headquarters need to know that the culture heavily impact impact the management practice in terms of issues such as the meaning. What's the meaning of performance management? Why you want to conduct this uh, performance management? Why? Yeah, what's the meaning? Yeah. So in every different country, uh, different meaning. Uh, uh, 
for their performance main. Maybe I can ask this question. How to define a good worker, a good employee? Hmm? How to, how to uh, say that? Who is the good employee <laughs> in your unit, in your sub company, in your subsidiary, in your team? No? Who? How, how can you say this, this uh, uh, member is a good member, this uh, employee is a good employee? How, sh how can you say that? Hmm? What criteria you will use to evaluate it? Yeah. Good employees and employees that don't wait for the other to make his job. He just takes uh, his in advance in his job compared to what people ask him. Mm -hmm. So you mean that uh, a good employee is uh, one who can help others? And receive the command from. Also. Receive the command, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. He is already beyond the expectation of his employees. Okay. Yeah. Very good performance. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. Okay. Good. Any other? Maybe I should use the microphone, right? It will better for you to record the tap. Any other? Yeah. How do you say? Who is a good uh, employee? How do you say? Hmm. Any idea? Everybody say, oh, I work very hard. Right, every day, right? And I, uh, every day I uh, arrive at my office on time, right? Yeah. But finally, I got a, <laughs> the pet uh, evaluation. Why? Uh huh. Who, who should be a good employee? You know, in the governmental. Uh, in a governmental uh, institution, yeah, and it's very important to arrive to your office on time, <laughs> right? This is a very important criteria <laughs> in China, in Taiwan. I don't know very in Singapore. <laughs> uh -huh. but however, maybe you cannot get a very good uh, evaluation. So. What? Any idea? How do you think? If you serve uh, work in an organization, right? You should know whether I am a good employee or not, right? So, how do you think? How can I be a good? Well, I think it depends on the position and also on the goals the company sets for my particular position. If I can reach these goals and mm -hmm. the yeah. objectives I get. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, uh, his answer, right? Receive the command, and, right, to reach the goal, yeah. Yes, in many situations, you really had a very good performance uh, in terms of the company's goal. However, you still cannot get promoted. You know why? You know why? You don't know? Oh, <laughs> do you know why? No. Let me ask them. Maybe they know. Why? You don't know? You work very hard to reach, to attain the goal of the company, but cannot get a very good evaluation and be promoted. You know why? Bad attitude. Hmm? Bad attitude. Bad attitude uh, with what? With your 
like supervisor or manager? <laughs> <laughs> Because you didn't have good relationship with your uh, manager. Yeah. Hmm? Is it possible? Yes. Right? It's possible, right? So, I think some of you will think, how could it be? It's a culture. Culture. No? It's a culture. In Western society, yeah, reach the goal. Right? And yeah, you will get a good performance evaluation. But maybe in Asia, something is more important with uh, the good relationship. Good relationship. Uh, two, uh, three years ago, when I visited China, uh, and I visited one hotel. This hotel uh, uh, was uh, uh, formed by a joint venture. Uh, no, not joint venture. Uh, this is the contract management by legacy. By legacy. You know legacy. Some of Taiwan, Taiwanese uh, citizens know legacy. Yadu Li Zi. Yeah, you know. Right? This is a very famous uh, uh, hotel in in Taiwan. And uh, legacy is uh, at the, the contract management for this uh, China, China partner, the, the China. Uh, so actually this uh, hotel was uh, warm uh, by the China, uh, by the China the owner. However, uh, legacy helped this uh, hotel to a very good uh, management. So this uh, contract management. So the uh, uh, legacy uh, assigned a uh, uh, vice president uh, and stay there to help this hotel to uh, set up a very good uh, management system. And you know in China, all the visitors need to uh, submit your passport when you want to check in, right? Your passport very important. And the, uh, the, account, the counter need to uh, get a copy, make a copy of your uh, uh, passport, no? Do you know this? Nobody know? Who uh, had experience? Yeah, you know that, right? So because the gum, uh, the police, the police station and the government want to check. So, right. And one day, uh, this uh, vice president uh, find that the counter, uh, the con uh, the counter didn't uh, get all the copy of the of their uh, travel, the, the visitor. And he said, "Why you don't do it? Why you didn't?" Uh, I do this, you know, what's the, this uh, counter's uh, answer? He said, uh, she said, if you build a very good relation with the government, we don't need to do this. You know? <laughs> he, he said, <laughs> if you build a good relation with the, the, the police station, with the government, they, will, they won't come to check this. So we don't need to do this. This China, Shanghai, in Shanghai, right? Wow, totally different. Okay. And after uh, two years, legacy leave uh, this uh, hotel and warm uh, uh, cooperate with them. You know why? Because uh, the the China owner always uh, ask a legacy uh, to employ many Shanghai the Shanghai, you no know, Shanghai the local the Shanghai local uh, citizen. Citizen, 
because the, it will be good for this owner, right? To get the, the credit from the Shanghai city government. Okay. However, many Shanghai citizens, they don't know how to provide good service, right? They don't know how to pro provide a good service to the customer. No, the Shanghai, who is Shanghai, you know? Shanghai citizens always think that they are somebody, they are the number one city in China, okay? So they had some honor. Why I want to provide service to a customer who come from other town, <laughs> who come from other city. Okay, so in this situation, this, this uh, hotel cannot uh, really uh, become a good hotel, right? They cannot. But legacy is famous in Taiwan, right? To provide a good service to the customer, right? Yeah. So, you know, the culture really heavily impacts the management practice in terms of the, this uh, meaning of performance management, employee acceptance of the review process, and the culture value dimension that affect performance assessment. Yeah. And second, the design of the performance system in many years uh, faces a major dilemma in terms of reconciling whether uh, this system should be a single standardized practice throughout the organization or whether a divergent system can be used to reflect the local culture, local management practices. Yeah. In Taiwan, you know, uh, Philip, Philip Electronic is a very good uh, Mojang company in, in Taiwan, yeah. And many employees like to uh, work in this company, yeah. Because uh, Philip, Philip Electronic uh, is a holding company, right? Holding, holding company. However, uh, this company uh, s designed their performance sy uh, system, performance system in Taiwan uh, with this uh, uh, global, uh, global versus uh, the locals, uh, uh, you know, sometimes a trade off, trade off between global uh, integration versus the local uh, responsiveness. Uh, they just uh, uh, set up this uh, uh, framework of their problem management system and provide it to the Taiwan, Taiwan Philip. And then the Taiwan Philip, uh, Taiwan Philip can uh, adjust, adjust and adapt this system to the local, local situation. You know? So they will ask their local manager to participate and uh, change. I want I want that to say change and to uh, adjust this system to the local employees need. Right. Um, for example, they, every year they will have a survey, survey uh, to their uh, local employee and ask how, what's their opinion right, uh, regarding this uh, performance uh, system, whether it's a uh, work, whether it can really uh, to uh, express, uh, to express, to show their uh, real their real performance. If not, they can uh, change. They can change. So they will come to uh, uh, our university and ask them to help them to have this kind of survey, right? And to find any problem from the local employees. Right? For example, uh, one year, uh, the employee uh, just uh, react that uh, they you know they respond that uh, the team they need to add the team performance uh, assessment team and all these team performance assessment need to be uh, uh, assessed by every team member right the team member so uh, if you are, if you are a team member yeah how you uh, 
uh, perform uh, in this team. All the member can <laughs> give you the the mark, right? They will give the credit. You are a good team member, right? You really help others, right? You help others. So all the the performer system, performer system, not not the executive from top down, right? No, not. So this kind of. Uh, uh, global and local uh, uh, trade off, okay. And the dust, the performance uh, management of international agency presents a particular challenge for manager in employer life. Yeah. If uh, you are assigned to work in China, okay, one day your company assigns you to go. Ah, who should assess your performance? Headquarter or the China CEO? What do you think? Hmm? Headquarter? If you now you work in China, who should assess your performance? Mm, depends for which company I work. Is that company Chinese company or some foreign company? Where their Boring headquarters company. is, <laughs> he then they will assess my performance. Headquarter? For foreign company I work for. Yeah, the the foreign the foreign company. Yes, mm -hmm. this the foreign company. Yeah, who assign you to work in China? Then they they will assess my performance. Yeah, your headquarter, right? Yes. Mm. How do you think? I think maybe the the branch that you're working at should assess your performance because they have more idea of what's going on. Like maybe your peers that you work with, they can evaluate your performance better. Or maybe customers, mm. evaluation also, mm -hmm -hmm. recommendations. Mm. <laughs> yeah, if have more consideration, huh? Yeah. Headquarter, how <laughs> headquarter know you are performers in the the host country, right? Uh, so, yeah, not right. It must not be the unique source, right? Okay. So later we will uh, have some discussion about it. Okay. So uh, regarding the concept of the uh, problem management, there's a number of particular characteristics which are associated in the Western context with the concept of the PM. Right, for the Western context, uh, recent year, notably a shift has occurred. Right. The trend is toward greater accountability of employee performance, use of more objective measures and metrics, involve our multiple rater, and ongoing coaching and development of employees as critical component of the PM system. Uh, at this uh, table, you can find that from the focus on past performers to the focus on future performers now. Yeah. Because uh, if all your criteria uh, uh, which are used to uh, evaluate the employee's performance are only for the past performers, right? Uh, how he uh, performed in the past uh, year can it uh, explain the future success? How do you think? For, for, for an employee, right? Who uh, really a good performers in the past year. Can it guarantee this employee will have a very good performers in the future, in a different position? How do you think? Hmm? You don't know that, right? Okay. Let me give you another story. Uh, there is a uh, an uh, department uh, uh, located in Kaohsiung, uh, which is the uh, belong to the uh, industrial research institution, Gongyuan. Okay. 
And one day, uh, this the office, this officer, this officer administrator, uh, need to have a uh, one year study uh, in MIT. And the institution uh, asked this uh, administrator, uh, this department uh, department head, to uh, provide to suggest. Uh, one uh, successor, right? If uh, he leave, uh, leave this uh, uh, department for one year, who can uh, <laughs> be a su successor uh, uh, for, for him? And he recommended one guy who is a very good expert in that specific industry, the chemical, right? The chemical industry. Very uh, good expert. And he said, oh, because he performed very well, right, in the past uh, years. So I recommend him to be the manager of this uh, department. Any problem? <laughs> How do you think? A very good expert, right, in a specific industry. Very good performance in the past years. Can it be a good manager? And everybody will receive his command. How do you think? Uh, it depends because the, the people he works with, they don't know his ways of doing business. No, all the all the same the same me, the same uh, member right in that department. And one day, right, the head leave and this expert was uh, promoted. How do you think? It's work or not? Can, hmm? it depends. It depends. Depend on on how they the others feel about him, and also on his experience. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Any other? Any other will give me the idea. How do you think? A good, uh, a very good. Uh, uh, industrial expert, can it be very good a manager also? An industrial expert. Yeah, some specific uh, chemical, right? The, chemi the chemical <laughs> industry, very good expert, a very good professional. Well, depends on his personality too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I guess he might not be a good manager for like a multinational enterprise, but maybe for a small firm with like four employees, maybe. But it depends on the case. I guess with a small company with his expertise, he could be a manager, but um, with a large company, it could be difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, you said no, right? No, no. Yeah, why? Give me the reason. Uh, management is something completely different. If you, it's good that he knows everything about his field, but management is something else. Yeah. So I, yeah, he might be a good manager, mm -hmm. but this nothing can guarantee it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Did you agree to them? Sorry? Uh, did you agree uh, to their idea? Yes. Yes. Very good. Because when he works as a pro professional, right? Yeah, he actually he a very good performers. And then, ah, okay. I think he is a good engineer and a good uh, industrial. Hmm. It's like uh, he has some quality already. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe yeah. he's not an um, employee who has problem. So most of the company choose uh, not to hire professional manager, but uh, to hire uh, industrial because they have experience of the work of the team they manage. So it's easier for us and they can better feel how the team is. And then it depends on the company, what training she will, uh, what training it will give to the employees. Mm -hmm. It's like that in every company. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. if it's not a good manager, yeah. it's yeah. because of the company only. Yeah, thank you. Very good. Very good. Yeah. So you uh, you talk about this uh, 
performance management system, right? Uh, if uh, one guy is a very good expert, right? And good performer, and got a good performance, maybe this company should provide, right? Some uh, training, okay? To help this guy to become a manager, okay? Yeah, maybe. Okay, so you know that this is a very complex, uh, complex uh, situation. And the real story is that uh, after six months, this, uh, <laughs> this success <laughs> leave the company. He cannot stay anymore because every, every member don't like him. He asked every member to walk to reach the same stand, the same standard, right? a very high bar of his performance. You know, everybody should uh, behave uh, like him, okay, and got the, the same uh, performance. <laughs> so nobody like him, and don't want to cooperate with him, okay. Finally, he need to leave the company. He cannot stay longer. Got it? So this uh, something related to the, his uh, attitude, his personality, you know, his personality. And this company didn't, when this company assess his performers, they don't know his uh, future, his uh, future potential. They don't know. They didn't assess uh, his uh, behavior in terms of the. Uh, uh, relational, no, relational competence. Whether he's a very good relational competence, can he build a good relationship with others? Can he help others uh, to uh, promote their performance? If he cannot, he should not be a good manager. Okay? Yeah. So, it's very important for a company, if you uh, just focus on the past performance, Oh, it will cause some problem uh, for your company's uh, per, uh, of the, the whole uh, performance. Okay, and defensive and control oriented to the, from this uh, uh, defensive control oriented to the development oriented. Yeah. Don't just uh, ask. Uh, only give the command to all your employee, right? This uh, manufacturing. I would like to say that it's a traditional manufacturing uh, oriented. However, if your company want to uh, uh, meet the, the customer, right? The customer need, or you want to uh, uh, promote uh, more innovation, right? Promote this uh, creative uh, behavior. Oh, you to to development oriented, right? No, yeah. What's his potential, okay? And provide, the, uh, like uh, he said, the, some training, right, uh, for this uh, employee, okay? Yeah. So single rater or multiple rater, okay? If you just assess with the one single, right? Uh, this uh, spe uh, his uh, uh, spatial, uh, uh, his spatial profession, okay? Not enough, right? You should provide it's a multiple rate. Okay, whether he's a good, uh, can be a very uh, good uh, member, right? Not for individual performance, but also for uh, team performance, right? Whether he can have a, a very good uh, relational competence or not, or he can more strategic mindset. Okay, if we want to be promoted to a higher position. Strategy mindset is very important, right? This is a conceptual capability, conceptual, right? He can sense what the change in the environment, in the external environment, right? And to adjust his uh, behavior, okay? So use this multiple rater, right? Very important, okay? And compress to administer to the uh, simple to administer. And individual result to original metrics. Not for individual performance, also uh, whether he can be a uh, good uh, for the uh, upper uh, position. Okay, 
and domestic focus to the international uh, global focus, right? Okay. A good, very good. Per I would like to say that a very good manager in one specific country can it must be also a very good manager in other country. Do you think so? Huh? Do you think so? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah. Yeah. I know you. Uh, which which group had uh, present the paper? Uh, the global mindset. Which group? Yeah, you group, right? Yeah. One manager, one U.S. manager, right? Who uh, perform very well in United States, but may cannot perform very well in China. Okay. So, this is the international global focus. And don't just like, don't just uh, try to transfer your performance system from one from your home country to the host country, right? Okay. So, an international employee's uh, PN system is the design, implementing, valued intervention of a modern company for the purpose of managing the performance of its global workforce. Right. So let the performers okay, contribute to the attainment of strategic, uh, strategic global objective and result in overall MME desired performers. Okay. This is uh, a matter, right? A matter uh, related to a strategic global objective. You know, IBM, right? IBM such a global objective, not just a uh, make profit, right? If you always uh, make profit by means of uh, the old product, right? The existing product is not enough in IBM because IBM stress the importance of the innovation, right? Stress the importance of the entrepreneurship, right? Yeah. So not uh, always uh, uh, make money by means of the old product. Okay. So it's a such a global objective. So when IBM uh, set up the subsidiary in Asia, uh, who will be good employee in IBM in Asia? Right. Good. Good. Entrepreneur, right? He he must be a uh, entrepreneur, good entrepreneur, right? I would like to say the inter entrepreneur, inter entrepreneur, right? Entrepreneur. Right? He don't want to stay in the comfort room, comfortable room, right? Uh, for many years, no. He, this guy must. Uh, uh, like to be moved to other area, to other business, to other department, right? And try to yeah, be uh, an entrepreneur, right? Can uh, take the risk uh, to do the new business, right? In the new market, okay? So, all your PM, your performance management system need to be designed to match the, to help you, this, uh, your, all your subsidiary and all your opinion to reach this, uh, to attain this strategy of global objectives. Got it? Yeah. So uh, now let's talk about the purpose of the international performance management. Uh, one system uh, is the focusing on the evaluation goal, right? Eva evaluation. This uh, system just uh, only for evaluation, right? Evaluation. Provide feedback to employees so they will know where, where they stand. Yeah. Uh, they uh, conduct this uh, uh, performance assessment just uh, help his employee to know 
how he performed in the past year, right? And develop very the data for pay, right? Good performance, good pay, okay? And promotion and job assignment decision and provide the means of the communicating uh, this decision, yeah? Many companies use the, this uh, right? evasion goal, right? A system, okay? And identify high potential employee and managing their talent for optimal performance and retention. Uh, CD Bank, uh, many uh, good uh, modern company. CD Bank or uh, Philip Electronic, they will use this system to identify uh, who can be a good uh, managerial uh, talent, right? In the future. Uh, so uh, they will check your performance within the last the, the last past three years. Uh, when you enter this company, after three years, they check your performance evaluation. Uh, you always got the the top in your department. Okay, yeah, then they will uh, give you uh, the opportunity to study abroad. To enter a very uh, uh, reputed program, MBA program, right? Yeah. And health management in make in making this uh, discharge and retention decision. Mm, if you are not you are bad performer, okay? Yeah, maybe you uh, you will get a warning, okay? Yeah, about this uh, unsatisfactory performer. Okay, so some uh, PN system was uh, designed to uh, meet this uh, evaluation goal. However, the other the development goal, health manager improve their performance and develop future potential. Mm. And develop commitment to the company through discussion of career opportunity and career planning with the manager. Uh, <laughs> you know one company, Yuan Tai Technology. This company is the number one e-paper company in the world. E-paper, Yuan Tai Technology. And previously, this company focusing their product in the small size of TFT LCD. Uh, TFT LCD, right? Uh, however. Uh, uh, they finally become the e-papers uh, uh, top company, and I have been uh, a consultant for their performance. Uh, and, and when I visit this company, I find no, they don't have any uh, written document. No, no no any format for their uh, performance evaluation. Actually, I would like to say they didn't practice the, this uh, formal, this formal uh, performance evaluation. They don't have this. Oh, however, 60% of this company's uh, employee are R&D professional. <laughs> They are only professional. Sixty percent, uh, this company, very interesting. So, what they use? They use this uh, development uh, goal system. Yeah. No, the manager, uh, sometimes manager will ask uh, this anti professional and to have a talk with him and to, to check uh, what kind of need, right, for his. Uh, uh, competence uh, development, okay, and provide him uh, some uh, training program, right, and uh, help this uh, this one to increase his competence and to promote uh, his performance. Yeah, just do it. Nothing. <laughs> no, not any evaluation, no any document, uh, written document uh, about. Their performance, no. So actually, this company didn't make any profit within uh, eight years uh, when it uh, started the, the company. The bit. 
But finally, this company made a lot of the profit, right? Now, the entire technology. Hmm. Right? Unimaginable, huh? Incredible, huh? Okay, so they just uh, diagnose the individual and organization's problem and identify individual training and development need. Yeah. So when I visit them, uh, I just uh, help them uh, to identify right, what competence they want to help. Uh, they want to help this R&D professional and uh, set up this goal, right? Just have this goal to help the R&D professional develop uh, their competence. Yep. So, uh, really culture uh, impact the performance uh, management system, right? Uh, so we should know some value uh, dimension, cultural value dimension, uh, convergent versus uh, divergent, and the culture fit organization of culture. Uh, I had uh, addressed this uh, topic right uh, before. Okay, so now let's come to this uh, issue. Yeah, culture value dimension uh, such as uh, power distance, collectivism, harmony, and faith have been shown to influence the way in which promotes is evaluated. Yeah, this uh, Asia, right? This uh, Asia style, Asia style, Asia culture, right? Asian culture. Yeah. In this collective high power distance culture, performance management is culturally more compatible with the focus on the broad performance target than with specific performance criteria. And which group are oriented appraiser accountability rather than individual accountability. So you can find that very Japanese. <laughs> I would like to say this is uh, a typical Japanese way. Right? Japanese way. And maintaining harmonious relationships, saving face and connection, guanxi, right? Rather than using uh, the direct uh, confrontation. So in China, if you ask uh, the employee to have uh, the review of your performance, the employee cannot say any word. No, no, they don't want like this uh, direct confrontation, they don't know, okay. And a greater acceptance of uh, ambiguity in the feedback versus a direct constructive feedback, okay. So you cannot find a real situation if you had this uh, interview, right, this uh, performance interview with the uh, the China employee, no. Even the manager, the China manager, they don't like to say, oh, you should not do this, you don't. no. They say, it's okay, no problem. You know, Chinese manager like to say this, me sir, <laughs> right, me sir, <laughs> really? Do you know me sir, no problem. Nothing happened. <laughs> really? Nothing happened in the a company. May sir. <laughs> he went to say, any problem with you? May sir. Oh, really? <laughs> hmm. Okay. Uh, and <laughs> yep. And focus on personal uh, optimization of loyalty to the organization versus the cell. Yeah. So yeah, you must be loyal to this company, okay? And uh, reliance on a hierarchical uh, judgment versus employee involvement. Yeah, everything just uh, from top down, okay? Yeah, this uh, hierarchical judgment, right? If the major said, oh, you cannot do this, yes. If the major said, no, uh, you cannot have any idea to, uh, get involved, okay. However, there, uh, sorry? Uh, a notion of the coach virgin, coach virgin, this uh, kind of trail between the, the fat, between the, uh, 
divergent, right, and convergent, right? You know, convergent, everything just the same, right? Divergent, it can be different. Okay, so this closed version right, is the kind of trail off, okay? Uh, it applying a relative similar appraiser concept, but adapting the process to align with the cultural characteristic. Yeah. So for all the modern company, the Western modern company, right? When they want to do business in East, in Asia, right? They need to use this uh, closed version approach. Okay. So uh, the impact of culture is particularly evident in three areas of the PA uh, performance assessment. Namely, the performance criteria, method, uh, pressure, and performance feedback. Okay. First, uh, with regard to the performance criteria, it suggests that narrowly defined test related competence and result orientation fit culture uh, with the higher performance orientation, universalization, and low power distance. This is for United States, right? United States. Okay. A while the broadly uh, defined interpersonal competence and the process uh, the orientation fit high power distance, high collectivism, low no performance orientation and uh, fatalism, oriented culture, fatalism, you know, <laughs> fatalism is the, uh, is the fortune, <laughs> okay, yeah, so for modern company, yeah, if we want to have a successful uh, business in the world, yeah, you should consider this uh, close version uh, approach, okay? And with regard to the method of performance appraisal, multiple assessor, former systematic objective and uh, period periodic assessment are characteristic of a low power distance and high performance oriented culture. Yeah, this US way, right? United US way. Well, while single assessor, top down, informal, and subjective assessment are characteristic of low performance orientation, high power distance, and high collective culture. This is uh, the Chinese way. Okay? And with regard to the performance feedback, individual group based, explicit, and direct confrontational feedback are characteristic of the specific low context and high performance oriented culture. This is the US way, right? While in the video group based uh, subtle in interact and non confrontable feedback are characteristic of the diffuse high context and high collective vision culture. That is Japanese way and the Chinese way. Okay? I just uh, provide you uh, to take the reference okay? of this. Uh, yeah. So company with strong corporate culture and centralized decision making may be inclined to favor more standardized. PN system aligned with their organizational goal and our management practice than those organizations that are highly decentralized. Yeah. So different organization culture will have a different uh, approach of their uh, performance management system. Okay, let's uh, take a short break, okay? 10 minutes and then come back. <laughs>